Hey there guys, Mercer Kill here, and I'm bringing you a new video, and today I'm going to be talking about this new software that Wargaming just came out for World of Tanks. And this software allows you to stream to Twitch right inside game. It's awesome. All you got to do is go over to your World of Tanks site, download the software, it'll ask you to install it. Go ahead and do that. It's then going to ask you which file do you want to put it in. Now ensure that this file is selected for the World of Tanks file. Okay, don't try to put it in the res mods, all right, because it's not going to work properly then. After you do that, restart your game. When you reopen it and everything like that, you'll end up having a large box that will be somewhere around here in the middle of the screen. It's going to ask you, sign into your Twitch account. You put in your username, your password, hit OK, and then up will pop up this little widget. Now, this little bad boy is great, man. Look at this. All right, this allows me to do everything I need to and start streaming, okay? But before you start streaming, there's some things you need to know. We're going to talk about those. We're going to talk about the good things, the bad things, and, you know, what we can do to get around them, you know? We're going to give Wargaming a little constructive criticism because they definitely need it for this software. All right, so on to something at first, okay? Uh, this is a widget. You can grab it. You can drag it around the screen. It looks like it's proper colors. It almost feels like it belongs here. Okay. But as soon as I go into battle, I come out of battle. Wherever I put it, it does not stay. It goes right back to its default spot. What is the point of making this thing movable, a widget that I can drag wherever I want, that will not stay there? They have not encoded into the um, software here memory of where it last was it always goes back to the default spot now i've gone into the files i've looked for the readme file to try to find where the x and y axis is so i can adjust those and keep it where i want i can't even find that it i, I searched for about 10 minutes and then i gave up hope i, I was spent i was like whatever I, i'll just deal with it hopefully come out with an update that's going to fix it so anyways and the same thing's true about the chat window which i'm going to talk about this you know later on you can sit there and you can grab it and you can move it around but there's no point to it because as soon as you go out of a battle and you come back in, well, it's gone. It closes. The chat window does not stay open. Every single time you go into battle or every single time you come out of battle, if you have the chat window open, it automatically closes. It doesn't have memory to remember that it was open. I mean, that is a real basic thing. I think it should be employed. Come on, Wargaming. Just fix, fix that, please. All right. On to settings. We're going to talk about the buttons here and uh, all the adjustments you can make. All right, so here in the settings, looks just like the settings in the menu and everything like that that we have up here. That's good. It gives me that warm fuzzy, and I feel kind of comfortable with it. Uh, you can see right here I'm signed in my Twitch account. Uh, let's see here. You can see right here this is what the widget looks like when we go to live streaming. Okay, We don't have you know these buttons here or that counter. You know, we just got that big settings button. You cannot adjust settings when you are live. You have to wait till you are offline, okay? This is kind of annoying because when you're setting up your channel, you're constantly going online, you're coming offline, going on, going off. It, people are going to be sitting there trying to watch your feed. They're like, oh, I know that guy. Let's see what he's up to. And then you're just jumping back and forth. Be kind to your viewer base. Let them know, hey, man, I'm setting the software up. Just give me a little bit, let me work through this, and then I'll start doing some gaming, okay? All right. So, we've got a pause button right here. This is great. This is good stuff. You need to have a pause button, okay? Let's say you got to go to the bathroom. You need to go to the head right now. Or, man, those pepperoni hot pockets. you got to have them. You know, you're hungry. Well, this allows you to pause your Twitch feed and go, you know, warm up the microwave and get stuff going. Uh, you can toggle open and close your chat window. This is great. Uh, like I said, uh, in the garage, you can move this around. It's a movable widget. In the battle, though, it is permanently placed. I'll show you here in a little bit where it is. You cannot move around this, this box right here or the chat box in battle. It's annoying as hell. Again, I looked for the X, Y axis. Couldn't find them. Um, just something they need to adjust there. All right, you've got a viewer counter, okay? This allows you to see how many people you've got in your uh, your Twitch channel right now watching you play. It's great stuff. There's certain people out there that just aren't blessed with multiple monitors. They can't have their feed up at the same time. Or they might have it up, but it's behind the game. You know, this just allows you to see how many people are watching you. Same thing with the chat box. You can see what people are saying and everything like that. 
Uh, again, with the chat box, something that would have been nice, but it's not there. Uh, the ability to chat back with, you know, typing and stuff like that. Yeah, there's no option to do that. You have to do everything through voice comms right now if you have a mic, okay? Otherwise, you're going to have to minimize your game. You have to pull up your Twitch channel, type in it then, and then pull back up the game. Trying to do that back and forth, back and forth is really annoying. You know, uh, viewer base, they get antsy. They want answers fairly quick. You don't give it to them. They're, yeah, this guy's ignoring me. I'm out of here. You don't want to ignore your viewer base, okay? Anyways, off that. Uh, game audio. All right, this is cool. We can adjust your game audio. There's some people that like the sound of the guns going off and the sound of the motor really loud. Your viewer base probably isn't going to like it at the same level you are. All right, get with one of your buddies in the clan or, you know, just a friend. Have them pull up your Twitch channel. Adjust this around till they say, hey, that's comfortable to hear and stuff like that. Uh, same thing with your mic here, okay? You can toggle on and off your mic, and you got a slider bar here so you can adjust the sound, all right? Talk to, again, your buddy. Have them, you know, check it out. You know, if you're a real soft-spoken person, you're going to want to help high. If you got a deep, booming voice and you play arty all day, partially duff. Put it down here, you know? Don't make your viewers' ears bleed, you know? They'll be happy, all right? They'll stick around a little bit longer. Uh, let's see here. Webcam. Okay, we can toggle a webcam. That's great. This is cool stuff that's built right in. Uh, I'm recording this with Fraps, and Fraps and this software do not gel together. There's a conflict of interest right here. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I do have a webcam hooked up, but you can't see it right here. It is... It's XNAID. You know, but it is there. Believe me. Anyways, if they if you got multiple webcams, you can pick which one you want to use. Um, right here, this bar, um, which you can't see, allows you to adjust what resolution you want your camera at. Um, there is like thirty different options of what resolution I can adjust my camera at. I think it was a little excessive for gaming. Give me low medium high and this is redundant across the board there are several times i'm going to point out why do i have so many options get put some limitations on me put the blinders on you know here you go this is stuff you can only do this you you gave me way too many options here you know i don't need 30 different types of resolution for my video camera all right uh let's see here so, we've got our camera here, and you can adjust around where you want your um, webcam to be, you know? Uh, same thing for in battle, you can adjust around where you want it to be. Now, these are not linked, so if I put it right here, well, in the hangar, it's not going to be right there. It's going to be wherever I last left it. This is bad. These two need to be linked together, okay? The problem with them being two separate webcams is your webcam is constantly... The software is moving from one place to another place. It causes disturbance when you're loading in the battle or you're coming out of battle. It gets all wonky. Your Twitch channel is just all jumpy. The load times take forever. Wargaming needs to adjust that, okay? Please. Another thing, this picture is tiny right here. Like, I'm trying to line it up right above the tank box right there, and it looks like it's lined up, but when I load the game, actually, there could be, like, I don't know, a quarter inch of separation, you know? I've got 2015 vision. I can't see that small. Come on now. All right, besides that, uh, you do have a slider here, so you can adjust how big or how small you want your webcam, which is cool. You know, uh, myself, I've got a lot of other mods going on and stuff like that. I'd like to keep it small. If you're the kind of guy that wants it to take up the whole screen so your viewers can't see anything you're doing, but they can count your nose hairs, then do you, man, but that's that's not me okay let's see here this box why toggle game video okay this is just redundancy or redundancy that is not needed okay i've got a pause button i've got a start and stop button all those can stop my video why do i need another button to stop my video okay i mean it also defeats the purpose i mean credit you can still keep on talking and playing the game and do your Twitch feed, but you're not going to be sending out any video, which defeats the purpose of Twitch because it's there for live video streaming of video games. We're not doing a podcast through Twitch. We don't need this. This can go Xnade. All right. Let's see here. Quality. Okay. Right here. Video resolution. 
Um, again, Slider Bard with 30 different options. I don't know if it's 30, but a lot of different options. I don't know which one to have it on. Yo, give me a low, medium, and high here, okay? That would have been great, sufficient. I don't need this many different video resolutions. You know, everybody's monitor's different. You know, they're going to have their own thing. Yeah, that's way too much. All right, video quality. All right, this is cool. You can pick, you know, you know what your video quality is going to be like. Currently, right now, with Twitch, it only supports up to 3,500. That's great. This software will only push it up to 3,500. You can't go up over top of that, you know. So, I keep mine at 2,200. It's pretty good. You know, my viewer base tells me, hey, things look good. I can see good detail. Um, I can make out people's names, all this kind of stuff. I can read, like, the crew members' names, stuff like that. You know, to push it up a lot higher, you're going to have to have some good equipment, okay? Now, I, myself, have a GTX or GTI 660, one NVIDIA video card, all right? And it's, you know, it's not the bottom of the you know, cesspool here, but it's not a golden goose awesome video card. It's about middle, you know, so this is good enough for me and I'm happy. All right, encoding presentation, or, or sorry, encoding preset. Honestly, I don't know what this is. I haven't Googled it yet. I probably should. I have it at fast. I don't know if that's good. Is normal good? I mean, best. I, what, what is encoding preset? What is I'm encoding something? Is this my feed I'm encoding? Uh, is it putting a faster encoding or a slower encoding? I don't know which one's gonna make it better. I probably should look this up. I'll Google that right after this video, but I don't they, look at this. Usually, when you hover over stuff, it gives you like a little indicator. This is what this does. This is probably where you should have it at. There's none of that. Add that, please. War gaming, add that. Uh, here. Frame rates, okay, FPS, okay, yeah, I've got uh, three different options here, that's good, limitations, this is great limitations, 25 SPS, 30 SPS, 60, okay, I keep mine at 30, I will tell you this software is a huge drain on my video card, man, uh, usually I'm around 60 FPS in the battle, it doesn't even matter, and everything like that, real freaking good graphics, yeah, I mean, I've got everything maxed out and whatnot, I turn this software on, and I drop down to 18s, like, I've ranged from 18 to 31, all right, and I, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, it's got to be the coding just not being proper or something like that. Normally, I use uh, Shadowplay with my NVIDIA software that does all my uh, all my capture and stuff like that. And it doesn't drop me nowhere near this bad. I, I don't know what the deal is. Hopefully, they figure it out. All right. Uh, here, you can switch or you can choose which server you want uh, to start uh, hosting from on twitch and everything like that you're just going to want to pick the one with the lowest ping uh, uh sorry again it doesn't show up because of the whole fraps and this thing conflict uh right here you'll have the server's name whatever city and state it's in and then over here you'll have the ping of what it is uh, obviously you're going to want to go with the lowest one i live in oregon um i end up using uh the la out of california you know that's just the lowest one for me over here i've got hotkeys you know it's great look at this I, I know what these are. It's just like my menu. Set up your hotkeys and everything like that. All right. Big one that you're going to want to set. You know, I don't have any of these set. And I uninstalled this and reinstalled it, okay? Mic audio. Set your hotkey for that. As soon as you turn your mic on, it is hot. You are broadcasting everyone, everything that's going on around you, okay? Your dogs are barking. There's a siren from a cop, you know, on the street over. You know, in my house, I'm in my office. My wife has a desk right behind me with her computer. I don't want you to hear her playing Farmville. My son comes in here and plays, Dad, I got 10,000 questions. You guys don't need to hear that, you know. Just, I think, you know, your Twitch channel should be somewhat professional. I don't want to hear you farting and burping and stuff like that. Have a hot key on here. Don't just keep your mic hot, all right? Let's see here. Uh... Battle, okay, I told you I was going to talk about something real quick. This is where your widget stays. You can't move it. The um, chat goes right there. Can't move it. Sorry, guys. I wish you could, but you can't. Anyways, this is all I've got. Uh, if you guys got any questions, stuff like that, hit them up into the, the post there, and I'll answer them the best I can and what I find out. 
Uh, if you like the video, subscribe. Hit me up on my Twitch channel. If you want a platoon, drop me a, uh, a request, and uh, we'll do uh, some platooning and stuff like that, all right? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and have a wonderful day.